Okay, well, we'll start with a stop. A stop transaction or a stop order transaction uh, is very, very simply, it, it's like your stop loss. Uh, if you have a bracketed order, you have a take profit and a stop loss. If that stop is touched, it will turn it into a market order. Iceberg order uh, is, um, it, but now you can use a stop to get into the market though too, of course, to sure. enter. Sure. Uh, so, uh, but most most people are using them as a stop loss. Right. Uh, and that's why we can start to see the cascading stop runs. Uh, in fact, we have a setting settings in there to look for only stop runs uh, as well. Okay, maybe you'll um, show us that. The and icebergs. then ice, iceberg order is a little more complex. Uh, it is, uh, it acts like a limit order uh it's resting uh at a specific area they want only that price let's suppose it's in the es uh they may uh trade they have a, a thousand lot at a specific price level well they don't want to show a thousand lot there once that transacts uh typically they're co-located next to the exchange uh and an algo will send it the next order immediately uh, once that transacts, the next tranche uh, is sent uh, to to the market, uh, and uh, so they can get kind of filled uh, without really showing much size in the order book.